Grinner Mortals. You are watching Dead Grins Customs. Like this video and subscribe to this channel before I destroy you all. Don't you like this color? Isn't it as beautiful as his customs? Go on, worship this channel, or else. Did you come here for answers? There are none. The call of Korriban is strong, but it is the call of the dead. I have studied you, immersed myself in you. I know the paths you walked in exile. I know your teacher. I know the fires that raged upon the ducks and moon while the Republic died around you. You know war. You know battle. And I know of Malachor. You know what it means to be broken. The one who travels with you will destroy you, as she did me. Hey Dead Grinners, this is Dead Grin, and welcome to another episode of Dead Grin's Customs. Today we're going to focus on my Black Series, Darth Sion, from Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. <laughs> So, what you heard just now was uh, one of my favorite scenes from the game where he fights the main character. The way I made him was very simple. I um, used a Marvel Legends eel body. I used the head from a fin, uh, a Black Series fin. I made the belt with uh, some faux leather material that I have. Um, just did it in very different layers and painted the, the red myself. The pants come from a Black Series Krennic. These right here are from zip ties that I use, like some mini zip ties that I bought from the Dollar Tree. I just put them all and then kind of dry brushed it a little. Everything that I did sculpt on this figure was uh, the whole texture all over the skin, um, the, the eyes, well the eye and the, the hair. It was pretty simple. Just put the middle put, uh, I mean the middle put the Aves epoxy all over the body, and then with a intense hair dryer, bubbled up all the skin. Before I did all that, I also textured the. I made all these lines to give them like cracks all over the body. One of the the coolest things that I discovered were right here. Let's see if we can focus. I made that little texture on his gloved arm just by rubbing the opposite side of this leather that material that's underneath right there that all that texture if you just rub it up against you know all the epoxy before it cures you get really interesting textures man and that bubbling effect that I used for the chest and the, for the head and all that was by Craig Warwick. He did it on his custom Crab Lante that he did for a Secret Santa project. I asked him if he um, if he if it will work on Abe's epoxy because he did it on Milliput. He told me it should, and luckily for me, it did. I just love the way this figure came on. All those Sith Lords that came out of game in, the, in that game really, really influenced me. As far as, uh, you know, getting more into Star Wars than I already was. Here he is next to a Darth Maul from the Black Series. So, he scales very good. He's just a little taller than him. Just as he showed, like in the game, he was, was not super tall. And he wasn't super buff. 
this body is probably a little too buff for that figure but i just had extra fodder stuff you know and i wanted to make something cool and ugly for me i made this this as a matter of fact i made a while back this wasn't a recent custom but i'm finally starting to show more of my customs outside of the dragon ball you know figures that i make because i i'm starting to do star wars i'm starting to do marvel legends and dc and a couple other things and hopefully they'll pop up every now and then on my channel but yeah guys this is man this was one of my favorite characters in the game next to the other sith lords which hopefully i'll be able to make in the future so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and this is dead grins customs peace Listen up, monkeys! Subscribe to Dead Grins Customs before I infect you all and make you my slaves! <laughs> okay, guys, if you guys liked today's episode, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video. And make sure you follow me on Facebook. Twitter and Instagram to stay up to date with all my customs and everything outside this channel. Like I always say, if you're watching this in the morning, good morning, and for everybody else, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.